We are going to make an island today, Julia Child's floating island. Oh! <laughs> bon appetit. Okay, so we're in volume one today, and my eyes have glazed over this recipe hundreds of times since I've owned this darn book. Il flottant, caramel almond souffle, apparently is one of Julia's most favorite desserts. <clears throat> Here we go. French Floating Island is an unmolded souffle of beaten egg whites, sugar, and flavoring, surrounded by a sauce so that it looks as though it were floating. Those little mounds of egg whites floating on custard, which are usually called floating islands in English, are the French dessert, oeuf à la neige. That gives me enough to work with. Let's get started. Slivered almonds onto a baking sheet. I gotta make this praline. I gotta do this right off the bat. I toast these up in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. Keep tossing those bad boys around. So I gotta let those cool, medium high heat. So I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of water and three ounces, 85 grams of sugar. Bring that to a boil. It needs to become a light toasty brown. Swirl it, swirl it, swirl it. Turn off the heat, add in the slivered almonds. Move them around, cover it in the syrup. Back onto that bacon tray. Ow, that is hot. He's got to cool completely. Once this says, um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be hard not to eat all this. Good God. That's fantastic. Praline into my food processor. I gotta pulse this until it has reached a coarse powder. I think it's gonna be pretty loud. Wow, that was louder than I could have ever. There's the stuff on the bottom that's not getting pulsed. Beautiful, put this to the side for now. Eight separated eggs. Please give a warm round of applause for the silver fox. Uh-huh, but where is the bowl? Bowl me. Thank you. This next step is everything. It's the whole point of this dish. If I F up anything when it comes to what I'm about to do, then game over, really. So uh, keep it focused, keep it steady. So first I gotta make sure that the bowl is spotless, which it is, I made sure of it. Lock that son of a bitch in there. I gotta whip up the egg whites into like soft peaks. And then I gotta focus on getting them into stiff peaks. And I'm about hot and cold when it comes to doing that. It's just like sometimes I nail it, sometimes I just piss myself right off. So um, I'm feeling pretty good about it today because I was making sure I separated those eggs perfectly or as perfect as I think I got them. Unless I did something wrong and I'm not aware of and I'll find out shortly, but I hope not. Eight egg whites. Also one eighth teaspoon of salt. Whisk attachment on. Uh, I gotta preheat the oven to 350. Carry on. The egg whites have now reached the um, foamy stage. In her book, Julia Child never mentions cream of tartar but it is a thing these days, that's for sure. I just don't think she was privy to it. Uh, so I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of this and that's gonna help stabilize these bad boys, allegedly. Carry on. Okay, so we've reached soft peaks. What I have to do here is start beating the sugar, sprinkling two tablespoons at a time, alternating with the praline powder. And then I have to just keep doing that until I run out of sugar and praline and the egg whites have formed stiff peaks. Six ounces, 170 grams of sugar, just plain sugar. Two ounces, like 57 grams of that praline powder. So the first two tablespoons into my friggin' thing. And then the praline powder, sugar, the rest of the praline until there's no more sugar. Yeah, that for sure effed everything up. Why the f did I do that? Now I effed up last time when I made the walnut cake because I added in the, the liqueur I was using while I was beating eggs up in stiff beaks and I didn't get them because of that, because I had the order of adding things in wrong. 
And I think I just did that with the praline powder too. I probably should have just waited until after they had been whipped up to stiff peaks. I don't know. We'll find out. So there's not a chance in hell that that's gonna turn out. As soon as I added those two things, it just completely fell apart. So maybe the book is, I gotta reread something in the book because this is not correct, folks. That's delicious. Mm. But incorrect. I knew that something bad was gonna happen today, so I bought a whole bunch of eggs to ensure that I get this right. That's eight eggs, eight eggs. So I have this like decision to make, should I be adding the praline or not? Because I don't have confidence that's gonna work. But I spent all that time making it, so I feel like I have to. I don't know what the answer is. It's gonna be a game time decision. Egg whites in. Pinch of salt, please. Once they've reached the foamy stage, I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of the cream of tartar. Hello, soft peaks. I have decided I am not gonna add in the praline at this juncture. Just a little bit of sugar, probably too much, and go from there. A little more sugar, a little more sugar. Hold steady, you bastard. All the sugar has been added. That's six ounces, which I found is quite a lot, but that's what she said. And are we at stiff peaks? Oh my God, I think we are. No, it's not stiff peaks, is it? I'm gonna keep it on a low speed. That's still a bit runny, which is really pissing me off. Yes! Yeah. It took longer, way longer than expected, and I think it's just because I was using a shit ton of egg whites. Okay, so now is the tricky, tricky, next tricky part. I really, really wanna add the praline into the stiff peaks. This might be another make or break moment. It'd be really shitty if this ruined me, but I have to try. Is that gonna work? It is. This is two ounces worth. I can't remember what that is in grams right now. Doesn't matter. Just fold it in as gently and as quickly as I can do it. Everything is, is working out though. So I think it's all incorporated. That's effing fantastic. Julia says you need some sort of cylindrical mold to make this recipe happen, but I don't have one. So I'm using like, this is like a quiche tart pan. I, I saw on the interwebs a guy doing this. He kind of just like butters up and he puts a cake ring in the center. And this is gonna be my serving dish and I want the meringue to be about that big. And I'm just gonna drop the meringue into my cake ring. I didn't come up with this. <laughs> this is someone else. Some French guy did it, some French guy. So with a knife, I'm gonna go around the edges. And that should just come out. Oh my God. <laughs> Somehow that worked. I don't know how, don't care. I need boiling hot water in my pan. Place a tin of boiling hot water. That's all it says, place in low. I just realized something. Okay, that method isn't gonna work 100%, so I gotta put a cake pan in first, and then I'll put the meringue in with the tart pan. It's because it's the, the, the bottom can come, because if I don't do that, then it's gonna leak. Okay, offset spatula. It's gonna smooth it out just a touch, just a hair. This goes into the lower part of a preheated oven. Come on, come on, let's go. Yes. For about 40 minutes. Whew. Okay, so that has expanded exponentially. <laughs> Exponentially, um, more than I had anticipated. So I had these rum baba molds. I have them for the rum babas and that's it. So uh, I had some leftover meringue. I just threw it in there and I baked it along with this. This is because this one is huge. It's like expanded to hell and back. But this one um, is my backup 
All right, I'm gonna have two different variations of this dish. These need to refrigerate for a few hours, she says, and they're gonna sink as they cool. I will anticipate the shrinkage, but um, for a few hours, we'll, we'll see. I don't know if I wanna wait that long. We're gonna move on to the creme anglaise. It's, um, it's gonna be surrounding my island on the plate. Uh, you know, custard sauce, it's a beautiful thing. I've made it several times. I'm specifically right now thinking about the chocolate mousse with the custard on top. Oh, that was good stuff. I've done this many times before. Many times. Bowl me. And I have another bowl right here with all the egg yolks from today's misadventures. Well, and adventures. I need five of these. One. Four, five. In with the egg yolks, I'm gonna add, what, three ounces, 85 grams of sugar. I'm gonna beat this up until it reaches the ribbon stage. You'll see. I gotta do something. I need a quarter pint of milk. Bring that to a boil while I continue to mix. Okay, that is pale yellow and does it meet the brief? Ribbon stage, how about that? Very gradually stream in the milk. That wasn't gradual at all. So that the yolks are very slowly warmed. Cool, so we're gonna get this into a saucepan, moderate high heat, until it thickens up so that I can coat the back of a spoon. She says around 165 degrees Fahrenheit, but I just kind of Eyeball it. Keep it stirring, keep it stirring. Coat the back of a spoon. Yeah. Okay, so almost there, people. Uh, this will work. Oh, I need a uh, strainer. So I gotta strain the custard through dessert spoon of vanilla extract. That goes in the fridge, needs to chill completely. It's gonna hang out with the island and we are gonna clean up. You are, and I'll watch. I'll do it. Islands, reverse onto my serving dish. Let's get this one out next. So I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> this one's a bit wider on the top, less on the bottom, so I think I'm just gonna even it out. So I'm gonna pass on this one. This is my focus. With the leftover praline, I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. Creme anglaise surrounds it. Okay, that about does it. Order up. Come on. Another slice wouldn't hurt. When you take a bite, you can hear the meringue just dissolving in your mouth. It's magical. Praline taste is substantial in this dessert. It, I mean, it's up in the meringue, it's on top. The perfect accompaniment, the creme anglaise. I'm glad I picked this choice. Beautiful, but it's very rich. It's very... So you had other options. You could use a strawberry or raspberry sauce. And now I'm thinking about it after I've had like half of this thing. And I'm thinking, you know, it'd be nice to switch it up next time. One of those sauces. Add some of that fresh fruit taste to this thing. This is just another remarkable dessert from JC. I would say this is in my top five of hers so far of desserts. It's just light, fluffy. It's remarkable. That's the floating island. This was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. Au revoir. The last few months have been great over here. The channel is growing and uh, there's so much great feedback. However, I'm having a tough time getting back to all of it. You may have noticed 
the past few months, I've just, I can't keep up anymore. So if you wanna get a hold of me, if you wanna to talk to me directly, I do live streams, there's other extra content. It's all over on Patreon. So I know it costs something, but that's the way to support the show and get a hold of me guaranteed. So just click the link right here. That's it. See you soon. Bye.